welcome to the woods outside the back of my house. As most people seem to be on lockdown right now, including myself, I thought I'd come out, check it out, and see if I could um, build a pump truck out here. Hopefully, I can inspire you and show you that you don't need a digger, you don't need loads of land, um, and actually, hopefully, it's quite easy to just build a little pump track and have some fun out in the woods. So here's a little bit of land. Seems nice and quiet. I mean, it's nothing special, but um, what's important for a pump track is that it's flat, which it is. It's pretty small, but I think we can make something pretty, pretty wicked, a little mini, little mini pump track. Got some running water in case I need it for, um, packing in the rollers or if it gets too dry got my pick and shovel so I think time to get started I'm gonna start off with the back straight because I think that's the easiest thing to design and I'm just gonna go along here maybe three four rollers kind of build from there so the first thing I wanted to do was to scrape back all the bushes and stuff and get it into sort of a bit more dirt like the reason for that is because the grass if you build over it eventually it's gonna go all rotten and go all soft so if you dig down put the effort in first to clean it down to mud then uh, once it goes hard it should stay hard forever and your pump track is going to be faster and better. So now I've got a bit of a straight cleaned out. I think I can probably put four rollers on there. I'm going to go get some logs and uh, find some stuff around to first mark out where they're going to be, make sure they're evenly spaced, then cover them with dirt. Then we'll have our first rollers. There we go, not a bad day one. Neighbor Chris decided to come help out, but we've been digging two meters apart. <laughs> and yeah, we're definitely gonna come back tomorrow and dig some more. Pretty stoked. <laughs> so the rollers are looking good down here, but we uh, came across a bit of a problem. It's very boggy down here. Um, and we wanted to get the water over into the stream. Um, so we found this door in the woods and we've made a little bridge and we're gonna build the roller over that. You never want your pump track to be soft. So find a door and build a bridge. So the back straight is looking pretty damn good. It's coming along, which means now it's time to make the big back turn. And we're gonna head back up there, sort of up the hill with another couple rollers. But uh, yeah, first we gotta make this over 90 turn, which uh, needs to be nice and steep because it's the lowest part of the pump track. It's probably gonna be the fastest. Good tip for building a berm, if you dig half of it underground and then put that half above the ground, you get two for one and your berm gets to be twice as big with the same amount of digging. So the berm is looking good, as you can see. What do you reckon, Chris? Yep. Stokes? This pump track has single-handedly got Chris back into bikes again. Yes, it has. When's the last time you rode a bike? Uh, probably about four years ago. Sick. <laughs> and now he's got a backyard track. We're still two meters away as well, in case you're wondering. There's some rubbish we found. So we're cleaning it up for the community as well. Absolutely. And next, we've got these uh, rollers here. Then we're gonna have another left turn here then through this sort of uh, marshy area over to there where I think we'll have a right turn, a left turn, then another left and that's going to join back into the back straight and that's going to be the lap, lap mark one anyway. So now that we've been digging for about a week, we got sort of half a track in place, the dirt. Um, these first rollers that we made on some wet ground are pretty much dry, and I think they're now ready to shape properly. So that's what we're gonna do right now. One down, a few more to go. So 
Oh, there we go. Just about finished up this berm, I think, which we're gonna leave it there for now, I think, but it's looking pretty good so far. Check it out. The roller's looking all good down the back straight. Comes down into this berm now, which was a lot of slapping. Out of that roller there. Looking good. I think next time we'll be able to finish off this berm. Next few berms down there and then it's starting to look like a pump track. Whilst it's definitely been uh, a lot of work, it's not been too bad really. Like we've just done evenings, me and uh, Chris, probably an hour or two, every two or three days or something. Yeah, it's not a huge amount of time and yeah, it's looking good already. And I think next week we'll uh, start riding, start trying out some sections and before long we'll have a full track. If you got any cool ideas of what you think we should put in our track before we link it back up to the start, let us know in the comments and um, yeah, see you next week. Go on, Chris, be the honest. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah.